Understanding the phrase, what's the holdup? Hello, and welcome to today's English language learning video. In this session, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of a very common English phrase, what's the holdup? Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding such phrases can be incredibly useful in everyday conversations. So, let's dive in and unravel the mystery behind this interesting phrase. What's the holdup? is a phrase used to inquire about the cause of a delay or slowdown in a process or activity. It's often used in situations where something is not happening as quickly as expected, and there's a need to understand why. The word, hold up, in this context refers to an obstruction, delay, or hindrance. This phrase is commonly used in both formal and informal settings. To better understand, what's the hold up? Let's look at some everyday examples. 1. At a restaurant, imagine you've been waiting a long time for your food to arrive. You might ask your server, what's the hold up with our order? 2. In an office setting, if a meeting is scheduled to start but hasn't yet, an attendee might ask, what's the hold up with the meeting? 3. In traffic, if you're stuck in traffic and can't see the reason, you might think to yourself, what's the holdup? These examples show how the phrase can be applied in various real life situations. It's important to be aware of the tone when using this phrase. What's the holdup can sometimes come off as impatient or frustrated, depending on your tone of voice and the context. In more formal or sensitive situations, it might be better to use a softer approach, like, do you know what's causing the delay? Also, in different cultures, direct questions like, what's the holdup, might be perceived differently. It's always good to consider the cultural context when using such phrases. I hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, what's the holdup? and how you can use it effectively in your English conversations. Remember, practicing these phrases in different contexts is key to mastering them. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next English learning session.